What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video here on the channel. So in this one we're going to be getting down to the bottom of the whole situation that this guy right here, Dan, uh, basically informed us of. And what he informed us of is that a guy named Stockton, we know who Stockton is, but we are uh, playing it stupid of course, like we don't know who Stockton is, lost his daughter aka quote unquote daughter to some individual somewhere around here but we're not really sure what happened dan the man somewhere around here suspects this settlement right here covenant being uh involved somehow but he doesn't know how and we basically tasks us to help him find out exactly what is going on here so long story short we're gonna be trying to figuring uh we're going to figure out exactly what went down here, and yeah. So, there's that. If you're excited for this video, though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this one. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead. First things first. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we got a little little marker, map marker, way over there. Um, I think that's where the actual caravan fell. Deacon, you're a <laughs> you're a strange man, I swear. All right, so first things first, we have to come all the way over here. Oh look, I didn't see anybody pass by. All right. Oh, so this is my provision. Oh no, this is a guard. Man was hit awfully close to Covenant. All right. I'll be taking those. Thank you. Wait, do I have? I don't have any uh, patrolman sunglasses, huh? So let's go ahead and put these on. Really quick. I gotta look nice and spiffy here, after all. Too many Geezer's lemonade. Geezer's lemonade. Is the pay is Never heard of it. Never heard of it. I'll tell you exactly where where it's from here in a second. All right, let's come back over here though to. Uh, Covenant. This is probably... Well, there's no probably. This is my favorite settlement in the game as far as a player home goes. To make it an actual settlement for people, though, it's very picky. It's not a very good one. It's kind of hard to build for other people, but it's great for a, for a player home. Alright, check this out. If I talk to Homeboy over here... Deezer's Lemonade, you say? Hey, Deezer. Uh, yes. I'll take some. Enjoy. Well, now we find out where it's from. All right, you know what I gotta do though. I'm gonna actually quick save. Hold on. Because I'm going to freaking take this guy's stuff. Forty-seven percent. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Insert. <laughs> Oops. All right, we're gonna do this literally the loading game essentially. I really want to get these keys from him because on these keys, we get some good information. All right, house key. No! We got to take it from him though because he's the mayor and he has both keys to the house and of course to the office. The office is probably more important though to be honest. Oh my god, Becky. The doctor's over there just staring at us. Look at those Gen 1 synths. Alright, ready? Good. Alright, let's do another quick save. It's fighting. Yeah, I figured. Oh, man. That'd be funny if I accidentally save it. Man, those things are so creepy, man. I've always thought those freaking Gen 1 synths were literally creepy as hell. They are so ugly. <laughs> they literally look like they got blood and gut. Or not blood, but like intestines and hearts and stuff like that, man. It's so weird. Alright, come on. I should have Damn it. Come on. Work for me, please. Please, please. 
I should have got the office key first. Thank you. All right, let's quick save again so that we don't mess this up. All right. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. La -di -da -di -da. No one's in here? All right, come on, Deacon. Get your ass in here. Okay, good. Deacon, you moron. Why'd you open the door? It's like you want me to get caught. Ready? Let's go. That's some serious security. Maybe there's another way around it. Oh, crap. I forgot to get the password, didn't I? All right, come on. Password. Deacon, go away, please. You better you better not think about it. All right, ready? All right, I think we're I think we're in the clear. Yes, we're in the clear. Deacon, come on. You coming? It's about time, Deacon. Oh my god. This is probably going to be the Stay away. Oh. Hi. Go away. No. Go. I want to sit. Um, let's wait like two hours just so it's like nighttime, like really nighttime. God. All right, let's, uh, I guess we'll wait till like 12 1. They should be going to bed here very soon, anyways. There you go. See, there, there she goes. Hi. Go away, lady. That's what I thought. Alright, Deacon. Fuck. Let's do this quickly. Ah. This guy is driving me crazy. No, I want to sit. Welcome. Go away. This chair is taken. Go away. <laughs> it worked. Is there anybody else coming? Thank God. Finally. All right, come on. That took forever. All right. Fisherman report. Mr. Huntley has aborted five compound runs due to a fisherman, name unknown, who has stationed himself at the Mystic Pines Pond. Mr. Huntley reports his new favorite fishing hole is directly on top of the compound entrance. The Stockton Retrieval Team was almost spotted by the outsider. I recommend. Well, looks like we figured it out. Um, hold on. Let's wait till the daytime. At least until like the like early morning, you know. Uh, three, four, five, six. We'll wait till six. We still gotta talk to Dan the Man too. Wait, is the doctor in there? Where are they at? They're probably sleeping. All right, Dan the Man. Place. Yes, I get it. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? As a matter of fact, I did. Um, they're actually at some sort of compound under Mystic Pines. They took the survivors to a compound. And we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. See you later, Dan. Meet you in a little bit. So there's a so there's something that I highly recommend you guys do. I gotta see though. Are they? All right, good. Penny's not in there. Penny, before you complete, there she is. Before you complete this quest, I highly recommend you buy the unique weapons or uh yeah weapon and armor piece that she sells. Uh, and only she sells. It's, but you have to literally wait till she opens her freaking store. Oh. Hi. 
I don't know what time she opens though. Good day to you. Good day to you. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. If you say so. All right, Penny, go to work. Damn it, where's she at? You go to work. Hey there. Enjoy your stay. Gosh, she's so freaking annoying, man. I swear. All right, let's uh. Damn it, he stole my chair. Let's wait for one hour. Please go to work. Oh no, I might have screwed myself. No, she's still not at work. Alright, good. That means she should be going to work here shortly. Is she still sitting in here? Where the hell is she? I'm not sure. I mean, she's not at work, so... Maybe she's in the bedroom? Well, definitely not. Penny. There she is. She's got to be going to work right now. Any day now, Penny. Any day now. Well, at least the doctor opened the door for me. Enjoy your stay. Oh my god, I messed it up. Go. Don't worry about me. Keep going. Keep going. No, keep going. Go to work. Oh my god, I what to say. Oh. Shut up, Talia. Alright, good. Now sell me stuff. <clears throat> I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. Nope. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald, but you, cutie, can call me Penny. Eh, you can nickel and dime this all you want, Penny. Nice to meet a friend. But I want to buy some You're shit in from luck, you. Then. Covenant is the friendliest place in the whole Commonwealth. You'll see. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Yes. I'll take a look. You won't find better quality anywhere. Um, all right, so weapon is called Justice. And the armor piece is actually a head piece. Combat armor. Destroyer's helmet. There we go. Highly recommend you buy this before you complete this quest. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. I'll regret? First of all, I know you're involved with the whole Stockton situation. I know you and your secret compound are behind <clears throat> what happened to Stockton's caravan. Supposing, hypothetically, we are. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. 100 caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend anytime. A hundred cra uh, caps, you say? Psych! Fuck no, dude. Keep your damn you caps. Can keep your caps. You can't buy off everyone, pal. Please, just leave well enough alone. There's more going on than you realize. See you later, bozo. Alright. Well, we gotta go over in that direction. That's Mystic Pines right over there. And he said that in the computer that it's under it. So that's it right there. So that's where we're going. Except I don't want to get highly... Wait, how many stim packs? I mean, uh, right away I have. Yeah, I don't want to get highly irradiated, irradiated. So I'm just going to go around. Only because, again, I'm short on right -aways. How many stim packs do I have? 18. I'm good with stim packs, but six right I don't know. It's a little too close for comfort, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and go all the way around. It's not that far anyways, to be honest. The worst thing you guys have to en endure is my annoying voice. But it's all good in the neighborhood. <laughs> let's go. We're already almost there. 30 feet. This is actually really sad right here. 
Hiya! Look at this. Aww. Aww. Alright, ready? Let's go. No! No! Go! Woo! That was close. We almost got really messed up with the radiation. This is probably going to be the last mission we do with Deacon though because I do have max affinity with him too. I mean already. So I'm probably just going to get a different companion just so I can max somebody else's affinity. Hello. Something. I'm sure of it. What's up on hey, Stan? Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Sounds good. Let's go. You better be ready, Dan the man. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? Uh Rescue Stockton's caravan? I'm here to rescue the survivors from Stockton's caravan. I can't let you do that. This ain't personal. Sorry. It is personal. I'm gonna destroy all your friends before I destroy you, buddy. Dude, that was amazing. <laughs> I love it. So I'm not gonna lie, I like the 50 caps. There's a lot more where they came. I'm gonna take these. Yeah, I'm gonna take these. I'm probably gonna be super heavy. And if that's the case, I'll just fucking I don't know. Figure something out. If I get over encumbered, I will definitely probably I'll probably just use console commands or something like that. Just to get me back to Covenant. Donskis, bro. I mean, let's be real. They're not gonna do anything to me, anyways. What the hell are they doing here, anyway? And then this, I want this too. How much carry weight do I have? Um. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get over encumbered here. It's all good though. It's gonna be a guy right here. Can I shoot him from here? Yes. What's up, bro? Well, that's all you got? What the? I really like the fact that ammo weighs nothing in this game. I've been conditioned by Fallout 76 already. Let's go. Alright. There's almost nobody... There's almost always nobody in that room, but I like to check it anyways. Let's go. You're dead. And you're dead. Thank you guys for coming. I'm surprised I'm not ever encumbered yet. Dunskies. You. And you. Aw oh, man, I missed that other guy. No worries. They're literally all turning into freaking... Viscera, essentially. Or Ash. Like homeboy right here. I should probably try not to get hit. Alright, you're dead. What about your homeboy? Really? Alright, good. Yeah, I built this guy around that, so it's like... Uh-oh. So it's like shooting without vats is kind of hard. Don't ask me why I like to pick these up, but I do. Alright? There's gonna be two more dudes right around this corner. And then the final boss. Dun dun dun. Hmm. Goodbye. I love it. And you're the last guy. They're literally all exploding. No, what the fuck? Okay, whatever. These guys have a lot of good stuff here. 
Alright, well, I'm just gonna use this just so that I can run. This girl right here literally does nothing anyways. Hello. Hi. And here you are. My life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? If you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. I'll listen to you. I'll give you a fair hearing. How considerate. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll That's kind of what happened. Accept it, or would you do something about it? I mean, I haven't killed anybody yet like that in cold blood. Believe me, I've been there. But I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? No. <laughs> I'm against synth genocide, all right? You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. Your point is? But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy. But through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. Um. Yeah, condemn torture. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the You sound like a maniac. Family place of safety and healing but most importantly it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia I will make you a deal if you let me dispose of Stockton synth and continue our work I'll match whatever reward you were offered I've had my fill of crazy on this contract no deal fortunate for me I wasn't talking to you you side with this nut job and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Okay, first of all, Dan, shut the hell up. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it. Even if I have to kill you to do it. You know what? At least you're honest. This is a change of pace there. Fuck it. Reject the offer. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. Damn straight. Then you'll just have to kill me. Too easy. <laughs> oh, you're a funny, funny girl. Don't ask me why I like to take this, alright? Alright, let's go ahead and release this girl. There she is. If you ever need to feel sleepy, ask Tinker Tom what they were doing here. Look at her. Go run back to your dad. Oh, wait, I gotta talk to homeboy. Where is he? You. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. No, not at all. Matter of fact, we make a pretty good team, don't you think? It was good working with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. In a pleasure. Agreed. Take care of yourself, man. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. Next time, don't threaten me. All right, let's go. Now we got to clean up shop. We have to clean up shop because those guys are probably going to find another way to do everything they did. And nah, bruh, not today. Not today. So, also with Covenant, I like to have all my companions here. But the problem with Covenant, 
or uh, the the thing with Covenant or whatever is like I like to keep all my co my companions there except for one, and that is Preston because I I just feel like he needs to be at um at the castle. It just feels like that's where he belongs, you know. That's just me though. Also, I kind of have uh all of my uh my little caravans or whatever going to the castle. I think I'm going to reroute them and flip them around and make them go to uh sanctuary. I'm I'll do that off camera though because it's you basically have to play the waiting game until they show up and then change them one by one, you know. So, I might I'm I think I'm going to do that though and just have one guy going to the castle, kind of like a delivery system. Cuz right now the way it's set up not sure if I like it because it's kind of like a clusterfuck dude like everybody huddles through that tiny little entrance and it's kind of annoying all right what's up homeboy are you ready for this da -da 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 -da. yes I did hold on I'm not gonna kill you just yet let me aggro everybody you hello Hello. All right, let me get everybody out of here because I have bloody mess. And they'll literally all blow up. What do you got? What do you? What? That's two down. Oh no, they're shooting at me. Deacon, no! Oh wait. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it right now. You guys, come on. Come on. Where did this Myler come from? La la la. See you later. They're not all blowing up. Like, none of them are blowing. Oh, it's gotta be in bats, huh? Yeah, I'm not worried about any of you guys, alright? So just chill the fuck out for a second. What the hell happened to him? <laughs> This console command is fun. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why I'm getting so many keys, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Um. Oh, she's dead. How many people are left? Two more? Hopefully, uh, Deacon doesn't destroy any of my turrets. It looks like all we have left is uh, the turrets, but I don't want to destroy the turrets. You! Alright, he's dead. I'm gonna have to... Okay, good. This is my house. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Just so that we can de-aggro these things. But yeah, this is my house now. Deacon, you better hurry your ass up over here. Alright, let's uh go into caution so that we can fast travel. How the hell can they still see me from way out here? Alright, caution. Let's fast travel. And then we're going to fast travel back. Let's go all the way to the castle. I've always liked that look, man, for like a raider playthrough. That look looks amazing. The heavy raider armor. It's just not very viable. Especially power armor. Raider power armor, man. That 
power armor sucks. <laughs> but it does look freaking cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. That looks pretty badass. I just wish it was better. You know what I mean? With damage resistance and energy resistance and all that stuff. Because as it is right there, it's not very, very good. Alright, so let's go ahead, find a bed. Hey, that rhymes. Let's go ahead, find a bed. And then we will sleep for like 24 hours. Or I'll probably sleep for like 48 hours, to be honest. I'll sleep for 48 hours and then go back to Covenant. That way I can put my stuff away. That way I don't have to like stay in. Oh wait. That's true. I'm still in freaking God mode aren't I? Alright let me go back. And then we'll fix that situation. Good afternoon. You're tuned to Radio Freedom. Broadcasting the good thing is that it's my base now so. We're good. Alright let's rest for one more day. Just to be safe. Then by the time we get back to Covenant, we should be fine. I just don't want to destroy those turrets. Because that uh, if you do, it, like this stupid thing happens where they ju it just stays on fire and smoking for like the rest of your playthrough. And it's pretty, it's pretty annoying. <clears throat> Alright. Looks like we're good. Now let's go back to Covenant. Oh, there it is. Bingo. Watch them still attack me. That would suck. I doubt it's permanent though, to be honest. That's actually the first time they've ever attacked me too. I might have accidentally hit one of them or something. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. But it, it's not very often that it does happen. Like, I don't remember another time where the turrets attacked me unprovoked. And by unprovoked, I mean actually attacking the turrets. Because normally, I can take out the entire settlement's, like, human residents. And nothing. There's, like, no repercussions. Alright, good. They're friends. All right, what I'm gonna do now, really quick, no, not power defenses, turrets. I'm gonna put one of these down right there, and then I'll put one right here. There we go. All right, oh wait, I need to take off. Here, you know what, I'm gonna do it over here. Let's go. All right, now I'll take it off. There we go. I feel like I cheated this entire video. <laughs> oh well. Feel free to hate on me in the comments. But realistically, I've played this game like a quarter of a million times. So I know everything about it. So of course, on my first playthrough, I played it on console. So there was no console commands and stuff. So... It wasn't until recently I started using console commands. Alright, let me wait till it all loads so that I can finally go all the way and get this thing. Alright, now let's put all of our stuff away before we die. Alright, alien blaster, deliverer, justice. I guess I'll put these two in here and this two that 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 i had a lot of stuff didn't i i need to give this to codsworth definitely all of these i really do have a lot of stuff the institute killer cap <laughs> i don't know why i have that but okay sure why not silver shroud costume uh did we did we do this quest Honestly, I don't remember. Alright. Well, I'll keep it for now. Don't need that, so I'll put that away. Goggles, put that away. Eh, we're good for now. We could fast travel anyways. So, 
something I do like to do. I like to make this my master bedroom. So I'm not going to build up the base right now. I know uh, some of you guys in the past have uh, expressed interest in me doing like some settlement building. But, uh, and I will do that probably after the let's play is over, you know. Let's go ahead and put that away. Now let's put a bed right here. Which bed do I want? It's got to be a king size bed though. Um, I've always liked this bed. Alright. Put it right, whoops, put it right there for now. I guess it's good. Yay, now I have my bed. Now I can move my companions over here. So let's go ahead. Where are my companions anyways? Um, they might be in Sanctuary. Let's check Sanctuary then. I gotta send my companions here. With the exception again, I said this earlier, with the exception of Mr. Prestonian. Because Prestonian belongs in the castle. He is a man who only lasts for a minute anyways. Fat Man are so freaking fun, dude. I wish that uh, mini nukes were a little bit easier to find, but I guess I understand why they're they're harder to find. All right, let me see. Oh, Piper! Go to Covenant. Um, who is this? Sturgis? No, you stay here. Trash can, Carla. Codsworth. Go to Covenant. Um, what other companions do I have? Besides the Deaconator. You know, now that I think about it, I might actually... Actually, there's no might. Um, Piper, I need your assistance. Come follow me. Hey, Piper. Head my way? Yep. Let's go. Sure. Let's go. Will do. Oh God, it's Piper. Hi, I'll be going. <laughs> uh, save your breath, Deacon. I know exactly what you're gonna say. No comment. <laughs> I, I love it. Deaconator, go to go to Covenant. I love Deacon, man. He's such a freaking awesome companion. Why the hell is there a Brahmin in my ha in my house? Dog meat, you're going to Covenant as well. There's got to be another companion, right? Like, there has to be. Um. Do I have... Do I have, uh, the... Uh, what's his name? I probably should put those in... <laughs> in houses, huh? Codsworth already sent his ass to... Let me verify. Yeah, Sanctuary. Okay. Yeah. So, he's already should be going on his way. There's gotta be someone else, man. Where's Valentine? Don't I have Valentine? Or have I never taken him as a companion? I might have... Not... All right, I think we're I think we're good. I think that last one, because normally there's four people here, uh, Sturgis, Mama Murphy, and the uh, and the the couple I forgot their names. So there's one extra. That one extra, I believe. Yep. Okay. So that last one is nothing more than a, a caravan. So, let's go ahead and go to... Wait, hold on. What should we do now? We still have a lot of stuff. Perhaps maybe we should start taking out some of these... Um, you know, creation club stuff. Because I do have a lot. My damn, dude. Look at all this. Even with the dogs. I think I'm going to make Sanctuary like the dog heaven. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think we're, I think we need to take out some of these things or whatever. All right, for now, let's go ahead and activate the main story though. Trouble Waters. That's a Minuteman thing. Um, where's the next main mission? Best of three. Slocum's Joe from Hell. I don't see the next. Am I tripping? Did I pass it? All right, it's gotta be up here, man. It has to be. All aboard, that's Nuka World. This is uh, the Mechanist DLC. That's obviously Vault 88. Mm. Where? Oh, getting a clue, there it is. Go to the Valentine's Detective Agency. Very nice, oh, I have a level up too. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Obviously, I've been specializing in certain things. What should I do? Your ranged sneak attacks do two and a half times normal damage. I could get this just to go for a sneak build. Or maybe I should go with action point refresh. I think I'm going to go with this just so I can get faster regen. Bingo. All right, well, for now, let's go ahead and, whoops, go to, we'll go to the house. That way, we will be ready for everything. And I'm so happy, dude, that we finally got the, uh, uh, the settlement covenant, of course, because covenant is such a freaking awesome place, dude. It's a great location. Piper, she's good company. But, and she's cute too in her own like quirky little way. But she's not a very good companion like combat wise, you know what I mean? So she's not very viable in a co from a combat perspective. But I do like her. And her perk isn't that great either. Like once you max her affinity, she gives you a perk called the Always Gift of Gab. You live here. I don't know how many people live here now. Two? Alright. Yeah, we'll probably end up building this at some point too. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this one, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Deuces.